Okay, so from now on, I will be recording all my programming videos on this cell phone. This is a Galaxy Z Fold 3 that I'm using. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to use the label statement. The label statement is just uh, like a, a loop or more like a, a checkpoint in the program. It works uh, in conjunction with uh, the go to statement. Uh, the label statement pretty much uh, tells the program that uh, I want you to come back to this point and run the program from there. So that's what it does. So let's get started. So first you go to app. You go to program editor and we are going to create a new program here and now uh, we are going to leave everything default everything is going to be saved in the main folder and we are going to name this uh label and press enter okay so as you can see here this is where your program start and the end program that's where your program ends and as always i like to put the uh, clear IO so this makes sure that uh, my program is going to run in a new page every time it launches okay so we are going to uh, make a small program as usual it's going to be very basic just uh, some simple calculation so I'm gonna start running my program okay so this program is gonna ask the user to enter two numbers and it's gonna add those two numbers okay and the program is gonna loop again and you know it's going to ask the user if he or she would like to continue or exit okay so i'm going to use uh, the prompt statement for this you can use the input statement okay why not let's just use the input statement it's been a while since I, uh, we've done that. so we're gonna do input uh first number okay so i'm doing my best not to cover the mic so it's kind of hard to do this uh, even on my cell phone so I'm, I'm holding the cell phone uh, in a weird angle so input is gonna be enter uh, first number and uh, we are going to save this uh, in a variable called uh, you know uh, n1 which stands for first, first number okay and then the user is also gonna enter a second number so we are gonna need a, a second input statement for that and uh, I'm gonna say enter second number okay and that is going to be stored in a variable called n2 okay so now that we have this uh, we can do anything we want with these two numbers so we are going I'm gonna do a uh, n1 plus n2 okay n2 n1 plus n2 then i am going to save this in another variable called uh uh result so it's going to be result one okay so that is going to be result one okay so i'm going to do another one that is going to be a uh, uh n1 minus and two okay just uh, follow along it's gonna be interesting and I'm gonna store this in a uh, result too okay so now you might be wondering okay so what what do you plan on doing with uh, these two results so the first one is gonna display display okay so it's gonna be uh, the, uh, the first display statement is gonna say uh, uh, the uh, the sum so that is going to be the sum of your numbers the sum of your numbers is and then it's going to display the sum the result at the bottom okay so we are going to do display R1 okay so let's uh, put uh, some more uh, space so we have uh, more space to work with and uh, the second one is gonna say uh, uh, the so minus that is going to be a difference the difference of your numbers 
is and I'm gonna put a you know a display here okay let's uh, let's bring this thing close together so you can see them better even though it might be kind of hard on the eyes you know you're probably gonna have to get used to this because these calculators you know they came out a long time ago this is uh, <laughs> This is what you're gonna get. Okay, so it's gonna display R2, which is the second result. Okay, so so far, uh, let's uh, recap everything we've, we've been doing. So first, you know, I put a uh, declare IO at the very top, clear input output, so it's gonna clear uh, the page for me. So every time I launch, I launch this program, it's gonna uh, take me to a new, brand new page. And uh, when the program runs it's going to ask the user to enter uh, the first number and then it's going to ask the user to enter the second number so this is going to be done in the background this is not going to be displayed because we don't have any display statement here or you know in output statement so none of these are going to be displayed mainly this display statement okay i just mentioned the output statement because that's not a way of displaying your uh your statement but we cannot use that here because that's not how that works okay so these are not be go these are not gonna uh, be displayed on the screen. In order for us to display the result, we have to use the display statement. So the first display statement is gonna uh, put uh, this uh, statement on the screen. The sum of your number is, and then it's gonna display R1, which is uh, the result of this. Okay. So N1 plus N2 is gonna uh, be added together, and it's gonna store those uh, the result in a variable called R1. It's gonna do the same thing. The difference. Uh, for uh, our numbers it's going to store that in a variable called r2 so that's what's happening here and it's going to display both results using the display function or the display statements okay so now that we have uh, our uh, our calculation uh, done with we can uh, now uh, display you know we can uh, uh, try to uh, find a way to loop the program okay so now we are gonna uh, we can use a display statement, but the input would be more appropriate for this, okay? Because I don't want to make the program too long. Okay, so the input statement uh, is the syntax is just a, you know uh, just like you've seen before is uh, you know a string followed by a variable. So it's gonna take a, a it's gonna display the message within the string and it's gonna take a, the value and a store into the variable. So we are going to say uh, uh, want to continue. Okay, very simple zero to exit zero to exit okay and then uh we are going to store that in a variable called uh uh we can call it anything so i'm just gonna call it uh <clears throat> l l for loop okay so then i'm gonna use my if statement i've already done a video about this but if you have a question about that video or you can just comment uh, your question questions here okay so if l is equal to one then i want the program to go to okay so now this is the label state this is how you use the label statement so if one is if l is equal to one then i want the program to go to the top okay so the label is gonna the, the label when the label is here so we, we first have to create our label so we can create a label and it can be numbers, it can be uh, letters, uh, it can even be words, but you cannot have a space between the words. So there is that. I like to use numbers for my label, I mean uh, letters for my label. So I'm just gonna uh, put the uh, start, you know, I like to call it start because that is easy to remember. Okay, so what this does is gonna tell the program, when I use the go to statement, it's gonna tell the pro program, okay, go to this label. Okay, there is a label called start or there is a checkpoint called start i want you to go over there and start running the program from, from that from, from that checkpoint so that's what the label and go to statement uh that's how they work so the pretty much working conjunction so i can be put uh go to start that that is pretty much straight and if i'm, I'm gonna use another if statement else if so remember if you want to use more than one if statement you need to use a uh, else if that's uh, uh the more uh uh convenient 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 way of using the if statement or the more efficient way rather so else if 
L is equal to zero, then I'm gonna tell the program to exit, right? Then uh, the program is gonna go to, it's gonna display, um, okay, let's see. Uh, what I can do, I can create another label or, you know, I can just uh, do a display home, you know, so the program is going to go home and uh, end the program. Let's see. Now I'm going to add another else, else if statement. Okay. Now another else if just another else, else. that's uh, the last else. If you see else, that means that there's there's going to be no more if statement. So else, I want the program to display. Uh, let's see. I want the program to display uh, invalid, invalid answer. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, slightly more complicated, but I'm going to explain it and make sure you understand what I'm doing. So display invalid answer. Or instead of using the display, I can just, uh, let's see, yeah, I can use the display, that is fine, Dis display invalid answer, okay, and since the, display, the uh, answer is, is invalid, then uh, what is going to happen if the user put a 7 or 8, then are you just going to display that message and not going to do anything about it, okay, so if that is the case, then I'm going to tell the program to go to, again, it's just a checkpoint, I'm going to ask the program to go to this right here, okay, go to so I'm gonna create another label here call uh, uh, you know it can be anything really you know the first one is start so that is going to be at the very beginning of the program so you know if the user enter number one then it's gonna start from that from from from, from that checkpoint and if the user puts a, a number that is different from one or zero then the program is gonna say invalid answer and then it's gonna take the user back to uh, to this prompt that's going to uh, ask the user to uh, enter uh, a valid answer. So it's going to go to this checkpoint and it's going to start running this program from here. So I can call it anything really. I can put, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the uh, the end. You know, it can be anything really. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put the end here. So go to end. Okay. And... Uh, that's the end of the program okay so let's see okay so yeah let's go ahead and run this program and I'm also gonna come back again and uh, see if I uh, before I even do that so let's see let me go over the if statement really quick just to make sure we have everything right uh, let's see so if uh, L is equal to 1, then the program is going to go to the very top and uh, run it again. So the user is going to uh, be asked to put in uh, two numbers. But if L is equal to 0, then uh, the program is going to display home. And uh, at that point, I kind of want to do something here. Let's see. You know, uh, you know, display home is fine. Display home is just fine. But uh, yeah, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to leave uh, everything like this. And you always have to end your if statement, okay? Don't ever forget that. So that's going to be end if, okay? And if, and uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I'm going to run, go home, and I run this program called label, like so. Enter, and it's asking us for the first number. Enter first number. I'm going to put a, a 10, and uh, enter second number. I'm going to put 10 as well, okay? Press enter. Okay, reserve name or system variable. I'm actually glad this happened. So if I press okay, then it's gonna. So this means I use a, a variable that I was not supposed to. I'm pretty sure it's going to be start. Okay, so it does not take you directly to uh, the where the problem problem is at. It's gonna take you to where the problem is, like near the problem. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that is going to be a uh, start or R1. It could it be R1? Okay, let's add a 1T2 start. So this is really important. I'm actually glad this happened because 
if uh, the video is, was uh, scripted and all that, you know, you wouldn't probably, you probably wouldn't know about this, but I'm actually glad this happened. So I'm going to change my start to add two T's, two T's to it. So if I run it again, it doesn't work. I'm pretty sure the problem is going to be with R1. I can't remember where, where I saw R1, but uh, yeah, let's put 10 and 10 again. Okay, so reserves name or system variable. That is fine. Okay, press enter. Hmm. It, it could just be N, okay? So yeah, that, that, that's totally fine. This is uh, this is some, uh, this is some uh, how you call it, some debugging right here. <laughs> some uh, fixing. So I'm gonna change these uh, variable names. So I'm gonna put uh, uh, num1, that is fine, num1. And uh, so I'm just gonna make uh, all the necessary changes, num1, num1, so this is going to be num1 as well. And this is going to be num2. Num1, num2. Okay, so now if we get another error, then you will know <laughs> It has to be all right because we've pretty much changed all the variables so let's press enter and put that uh, 10 twice okay <laughs> this is a uh, very interesting wow how nice <laughs> well i guess at this point it's going to be r1 so i guess uh, we're gonna put the result res so i'm just gonna put res to keep everything short res one and res two and uh so here it's gonna display a res one as well. Res one display a res one here, and uh, here it's gonna display the difference, which is result two. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that is pretty much it. The end shouldn't be it, right? <laughs> because the reason why it wouldn't be end, like I said, uh, uh, when this uh, when the uh, compiler uh, when it detects a problem, it's not gonna. It, Oftentimes, it's not going to take you directly to the pro problem. It's going to take you near the problem. So, in our case, it took us uh, to all the way, all the way over here by num. So that means the problem has to be somewhere around this area. So we've already changed pretty much all the variables. So there is no reason for the pro the, the the problem to be somewhere at the bottom here. Okay. So let's go and run it again. Ten twice. I bet I bet you a million dollars that it's going to work now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so that means the problem was with the R1. So you cannot use R1 here. Okay. So we enter 10 twice and the sum of your number is 20. The difference of your numbers is zero. And it's asking us to uh, enter one to continue or zero to exit. So we are going to press one. There you go, and it's gonna clear the uh, page for us and ask uh, ask us to uh, enter different numbers. So 45, let's just go crazy. Press enter. And once again, the sum of your number is, that is a big number, is 89,655,897. Well, the difference of your number is, wow, very big too, okay? So press enter, press 1 to continue, 0 to exit. So we can press 1 anytime, any day to continue, you know. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. And now we can press 0 to exit, see what's going to happen. 0, display home. So display home is a function that is not available on the TI-92 that came out in 1995. And uh, if you are now running on the latest firmware on, these, uh, uh, on this one as well, it might, you, you might not have certain functions. That's why it's always good to have the latest uh, software. Okay, so I think that is pretty much for this video. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. So, okay, so I forgot to uh, check the last condition of my uh, if statement, which was actually uh, uh, the one that would uh, prompt us to enter a valid answer if we put a uh, a number that is different uh, than one or zero i got a little distracted because of all the fixing uh, we had to do so i haven't even uh, you know I, I stopped the video and i automatically thought of it so i'm gonna run the program again and i haven't done any change so in case something goes wrong then uh, we are going to uh, fix that again so i'm just gonna put a uh,
numbers and uh, want to continue zero to exit we already check uh, those two conditions but what is going to happen if we put uh, a number that is not one or zero let's see as you can see it says invalid answer so that means everything is working the way it's it's supposed to be working so that is good I put this it's gonna keep it's gonna keep telling me that uh, the answer I put is invalid so I just want to add that to the video and uh, if you have any questions just make sure to put in the comment section